place is really loud. There's a lot of cars and cops driving around. So the thumbnail says stop doing this. I know that's pretty vague and it can mean a lot of things, but what exactly do I mean by stop doing this? This video, I want to talk about a few things that I don't really hear a lot of guitar players on YouTube talk about, and maybe it's something that you haven't considered in your journey. Whether you're a beginner, intermediate, or advanced, this is going to be a message for you. The first thing I want to talk about is how unrealistic we really are as guitar players. If you follow me or you follow me for a while, there's going to be a consensus that you're going to hear in this channel that pretty much kind of highlights how everything is connected. We usually... If we want to be become better guitar players, we watch guitar player videos. If we want to be better at making videos, we watch videos on how to become better uh, video editors or just whatever it is that you want to learn. But to be honest, everything comes back to the same thing. If we're struggling as guitar players, we're probably struggling on other areas of our life that we're just kind of not putting it together. One of the main things and one of the focuses that I want to talk about is self-doubt. That inner dialogue that we have in our heads. Your guitar playing sucks. It really controls everything about our lives because we let it control things about our lives. How many times do we spend hearing our inner thoughts telling us how dumb we are, how, how much we suck? We watch a video on YouTube and these people are way better than us and it just kind of puts us down. We all go through that. I mean, I, have within the last couple of years, I still went through that. Starting this channel, I would watch other people's channels and felt like they had more information than me or their video editing skills were really good. And from the first time that I started this YouTube channel, I was, all, I was comparing myself to those people that had three or 400 videos. And that's pretty unrealistic. Before we compare ourselves to others, uh, as far as guitar players, we need to realize that the reason that these people are where they're at is because they've failed more times than we have. They put in more hours than we have. And the only person that you're really competing with is yourself, right? We've heard that. It's pretty cliche. Like it's stuff that we think that the solution is not that easy, but it really is. You're, you're really competing with yourself. The only person that's keeping you down is yourself, right? We might say that, well, I live in a city where there's not a lot of music happening and there's not a lot of bands, but there's YouTube. I mean, you could be on YouTube making videos and you would have a bigger audience than that small town that you're in. So there's really no excuse. I don't know if you could see my, my fingers from, from this video, but they're pretty dirty. And the reason that my fingers are dirty is because I still have a full-time job doing this. I work 12 hours i fix uh industrial machinery forklifts stuff like that so i'm i'm constantly working with my hands and you probably can't tell from the video but this hand i i mistake i i thought it was a chisel today at work and i hit it with a heavy hammer and i was kind of worried that i couldn't practice guitar so why am i bringing this up the reason that i'm bringing this up is because you need to stop making excuses I have a podcast, I play in a band, I have this YouTube channel, and I work a 12-hour day job sometimes, and if I can do it, you can do it too. Never give up on your dream. Even if it's something that you're doing as part-time, like you, you have a great career and you're really not trying to pursue uh, the music as a career, but to be a better guitar player, you have to stop making excuses and show up, right? Part of being a be uh, better guitar player is doing the things that are boring, just like anything in life. If, if you're accomplished in your field, if you're an expert in where you work or in something outside of music, you know that that took a lot of time and a lot of hours. And guitar is no different. We, are, we all have a lot of insecurities as humans. I mean, that's just not strictly in our guitar pursuit or our, our guitar journey those insecurities are everywhere in our lives so if we want to be more confident we have to understand that we have to put in the work because the insecurities that you have may be something that's valid or maybe it's not maybe it's just something that you're making up the band that i'm in right now i started playing with a singer from la named maria sanchez <laughs>
And the reason that I got into this band is because I took initiative, right? I saw the opportunity and I wanted to take it. Uh, I work with a small label here in, in Los Angeles and I was asking them if they had any singers or anybody that they had in their roster that needed a guitar player. And that same day, they sent me a link of Maria's music. And immediately when I got home, I started learning her song and I made a video and I submitted it to her. And to this day, she still tells that story that, you know, I got that job because I took initiative, right? I was confident that I could be a good guitar player in this band and, and I, I have something that she needs and it worked out well. And I would have never done that five, 10 years ago. I just, I was in my head so much that a lot of my insecurities kept me from being where I want to be in life. And I can guarantee you listening to this, that even if it's not on your guitar journey, there's a lot of things in your life that you're neglecting or you don't want to pursue because of your insecurities. And What's the worst that could happen? You learn a lesson. One of the other things to remember is no matter what level in your guitar playing you're at, it's just to have fun with it. One of the things that really helps me, and maybe it'll help you guys, I don't know, comment down below if you really like this, is that I've been playing guitar for 27 years. I started playing when I was 12. And when you've been playing for that long, it's easy to forget and to be humble sometimes because you, I, I really have, I don't have a concept of how far I've come along. And sometimes when I record a song or I come up with a riff or I record something on Logic and I hear myself, I think, to, to humble myself, I think, if that 12 year old kid that started playing, if he heard that, would he be excited? And a lot of the times, actually 100% of the time, the answer is yes. So no matter if you've been playing for two months, for a week, for five years, 10, 20 years, whatever you figured out, whether it be a simple G chord or just a cool little solo that you can do now, ask yourself, the person that you were when you started playing this, would that person be really excited about it? And if the answer is yes, then get that little hit of, uh, of happiness and move forward. I wasn't, uh, I wasn't going to bring this up, but I think I should be honest with you guys. If you guys look on my feed, I haven't posted a video in almost a year. And the reason because uh, last May I was I was hit by a drunk driver while I was at, at a red light. And this guy hit me on the driver's side going about 60 miles an hour. And I had a pretty bad concussion and I was just pretty out of it for months after. And I was going through therapy and stuff like that. And this is when the channel started kind of picking up a little bit. so. I had to take a pause from it and you know I could have easily gave up on this and, and gave up on other stuff that I'm doing with my music career and I just I realized that I've spent so much time playing music and I just if I gave up on my uh, on my dream then I, I, I think if I was lucky enough to be in my 60s or 70s I would have probably re regretted that and I don't want to live with regrets so it was hard, it wasn't easy, but I mean, I'm 40 years old and I'm still doing this and I do it because I, I love to do it. And to be honest, I mean, I, I consider myself successful already. I'm not, my metrics on success are different than others, but I really don't think that money and fame is success to me. Like that's why a lot of people get themselves into the situation where they have everything that they want in life. and they're still not happy to me success is the person that you become during and if you become a shitty person then I mean that's not success to me you know and everything that I say in this video it's it's not it's not the answer but it's what helped me and and hopefully it'll help you if this message resonates with you please comment subscribe and share let me know down below if there's anything that you learned in your journey from playing guitar or from doing something that you made you feel uncomfortable and after you were really excited that you did do it uh, we could start a little community around this channel and i'm sure there's people that would love to hear these stories and and uh, hopefully you in the comment section can inspire somebody just as i'm trying to do that on youtube
but thank you guys for your time appreciate you guys love you guys peace